theoretical synthesis of linear acetylenic carbon through sp1 hybridization carbine and theoretical synthesis of polycyclic aromatic carbon through sp2 hybridization graphene okay at the top of our machine we're putting in carbon 12 in its ground state and it, it has it occupies these orbitals here you can see this one is empty so what we want what we're going to do is we're going to take that down arrow right there we're going to add energy and we're going to promote that electron and we're going to put it take it from there and we're going to fill the 2pz orbital and that's all that's all that, that there is as the carbon 12 um, excited state atoms are falling through this space and time they are being shot by a proton gun so they're giving them an overall positive charge and of course in here we also have an electron gun to see what we're doing on, on the on the bottom here Okay, so as the, carb the positively charged carbon atoms are coming, falling through this space and time, they are mag magnetically ordered uh, because there's an applied magnetic field here, B0, and they all align upright in an ordered fashion, whether you're doing linear for um, uh, carbine or you're doing sp2, which is graphene. So you would, you would have the, uh, the, the base uh, lattice, in this configuration, we have a 0.14 nanometers between carbon nucleuses and then a 0.335 nanometer distance interplanar. Okay, so, and our bonding angles and our chiral angles are there. Okay, and then, so then we, th then we're in the hybridized state and then the carbon atoms can form, can form the bonds of pi sigma pi bonds. And once they're formed, then, then they're in graphene, they roll off the conveyor this way. I had a clear substrate uh, from rubber sheet roll just as a, an example substrate. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.